Peace be with you and welcome back to my channel for another video, another spiritual download. If this is your first time coming across my channel, nine times out of 10, Spirit has a message here for you, okay? There is a 99.9% .9 chance that there is a message here for you or about somebody you're thinking about or something that you have questions concerning your spiritual awakening. Needless to say, I pray that you've done all your necessary meditation, that you've talked to your spirit guides, so that when I put these cards down and I tell the story that I'm channeling, that you'll know what message is for you and what's not. Please leave that out, okay? Um, there could be some conflict in a relationship with the King of Wands, Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is going to be the message for Virgo. Virgo, Divine Ancestors of the Highest White Light. Please, should, yeah, Spirit says to let you know what I'm about to tell you is the truth, the whole truth, so help us God. So prepare yourself, okay? Pray that you have peace and understanding in the truth. Sometimes people say they want the truth and they can't handle the truth. Yeah, Virgo, let's go. What's this conflict about? Something about money? You could be waiting for some money. Yeah, you could be dealing with a queen. Uh, a queen. Ooh, a king of swords. <laughs> or you're embodying that energy. This person is toxic. Aquarius, Libra or Gemini. Okay, you got a few people in your in your energy, Virgo, so far. Five of Cups is regret. All right, let's see what's going on. Divine ancestors, please put a ring and a shield of protection of impenetrable light around me and my beautiful Virgos and the collective. Holy Spirit, please be present and protect me as I channel the energy for Virgo. What is it that this Virgo needs to know? What is it that these Virgos need to know on this day? Why are these cards here and why am I seeing that? Yeah, I told you. I don't know what this is. I told you conflict. Somebody is fighting over you, with you, trying to pick a fight. Yeah, they're being very sneaky and deceptive about it. They're doing something that's just not right. This could be one or two people in your energy or five people in your energy. Mm, let me get a little water. You might need to drink some water too, Virgo, to help with your emotion. Spirit is saying, hold on. Yeah, I saw conflict. Show me more Holy Spirit. What is it that this Virgo needs to know? Remember, my odd is still in the building. She will continue to be in the building. She's on her throne and the Most High is backing her wrath. So whoever this is, conflict, whatever, they under judgment. Somebody wants to take a leap of faith with you though, but this is definitely a third party situation. The hell is going on here, Virgo? Yeah, somebody wanted, it's like they're fighting over you. Okay, thank you. Yeah, these people are fighting over you. No, that's my wish fulfillment. No, that I want to take a leap of faith with her. That's what I'm getting. But somebody is real arrogant and toxic and a little controlling. Yeah, one of these people is like, I don't know if it's this, because I saw the King of Wands fire sign energy. So you could be dealing with the fire sign. You could be a, a August Virgo and or September Virgo. Spirit is saying both. Wow. Okay, show me what else I need to see. Yeah. Somebody is manifesting something with you. Somebody could be really sitting and meditating um, on what it is they want with you, Virgo. You are their wish fulfillment. They don't want to let you go. Somebody's a little obsessive though. Like you ain't going nowhere like that. Like how are you going to tell Virgo when you got free will? This is what I, this is what I really want people to understand. When somebody wants to bend your will. Okay. That's a blatant obvious, compulsive as deliberate red flag, period. Ain't nothing else to say about it. Show, okay, yeah, good news about money is coming, Virgo. You've been waiting for some news about money. Something has you concerned about money. I told you this king of wands. Didn't I just tell you? Listen, I love when spirit comes to me like this. I thank God for my gift. I thank God that I can use it for the collective. I said this before. I, didn't y'all see me shuffle the cards a thousand billion times? That's why Spirit showed you the, the sword of truth to let you know what this person's about to tell you, what this oracle's about to tell you, what this practitioner's about to tell you. Me, meaning the practitioner, I'm the practitioner, is about to be the truth. I told you you got good news about money coming in. I told you you was fooling with the king of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Take what fits, leave the rest. And you guys, somebody been fighting. Somebody wants conflict. 
Somebody want to catch these hands, Spirit is saying. I hear somebody saying, stop playing, bruh. You playing, bruh. This is either this person talking to you or you talking to them. Yeah, they're hiding something. They could be hiding the fact that, okay, show us this King of Wands. What, what's going on? Because this is something that you want to know. This is something that you came to this video to know. What is it that you want to know, Virgo? Show us what Virgo needs to know, Holy Spirit, Divine Ancestors, Archangel Michael. Give us the message. Yeah, you want to know if this person has a family? I'm about to tell you. Yes, they betrayed you. Yes, it's true. Yes, they're cheating. Okay? Yes, this is a third-party situation. It doesn't denounce the fact that they care about you. Spirit says this person fell in love with you. Yes, they have a family. Yes, this is a married man and or woman. Flip-flop the gender whenever you need to because we all know that there's no gender in tarot. It's not prejudice against sex at all. This is definitely a betrayal. Okay? Do they have a family? Do they have somebody else? And maybe this is why the fighting is here because you want the truth because the sword of truth came out first. Is this why the fighting is here? Because maybe you confronted this person like intuitively you're like, mm -mm, hell to the motherfucking no. Hell no. Something's going on that I can't see. Show us what else Virgo wants to know about this fire sign. Show us what else. Yeah. This person's on the fence about making you an offer. This card came out like this. One day they're like, you know what? I want to be with you. It's you. I care. Blah, blah, blah. Then they're like, uh, no, you know, this is a very in and out kind of energy. Very un unsure energy. Spirit is saying that this person is not all the way healed yet. That's why. Spirit is blocking this person. This is definitely and could be a really good wish fulfillment. Okay. We're seeing a lot of families break up, not because you're a home wrecker right? Because I don't even think you knew, again, you didn't know this person was married. Yeah. So you couldn't have break it up something that you didn't know was, you know, going on. Needless to say, you're going to see a lot of these relationships go from hell uh, to high water only because we're under divine judgment. So these people can no longer be with people that they're not divinely supposed to be with. So you're going to see a lot of men and or women walking away from karmic situations. So you want to know about the family. Okay. Virgo, I can hear you loud and clear, boo boo. Let's go. Show us what we need to see. Show us Virgo. What does Virgo want to know about this third party? Virgo wants more information. Archangel Michael, my eye is in the building. Give us the answers for Virgo. Give us the answers for Virgo. Yeah, this person could be um, dealing with a Scorpio or just deading the situation. This person is walking away from whatever they thought was their wish fulfillment because spiritually, yeah, this person is a liar. This is what you wanted to know, Virgo. So we're going to get it out. That's why I always say the prayer. Give us the heart. Give us the mind. Give us the spirit that can handle the truth that surpasses all understanding. Right? Because we want the truth so that we can walk in reality. We don't want to be delusional on our path. It is what it is. It has absolutely nothing to do with your value, your ancestors are saying. This has nothing to do with you. This has to do with this person. Okay? This person is lying about this family, lying about the third party situation because they're living in fear. They don't want to lose you. Because you're the high priestess and you're intuitive. You know this. You knew this before these cards even came out. But Spirit said you need confirmation. Yeah, you could be dealing with the... um. Mm, I said fire sign. I'm getting Sagittarius. I don't know what's up with Sagittarius right now. Y'all coming up at everybody's reading. I'm getting heavy Sagittarius and or December energy, Cusper, Capricorn, you know. And here's the thing. You're going through a spiritual awakening, right? So you're intuitively being guided to go on your path. You're going through what I hear deliverance, okay? This person, again... I don't know why I pick up on the sexual energy, but it's phenomenal. It's soul snatching. We've all been in soul snatching situations with demonic D. Okay. Doesn't mean that this person is not going to be who you want. But I, again, with my aunt spinning the block as quickly as she is, I just hope and pray that this person gets to you on time because a lot of people think they got a lot of time, you know, because we love them so good. You are loving this person so good. It's like, okay, that person's not going nowhere. That person will be there. No. Only to come to your address and find out you don't even live there no more. 
Yeah, this person is like, and this person could have some addictions. Sex spirit is saying sex, pornography, insatiable sexual desires. Like it can never be satisfied. And you wanted to know if there's more than this family? Yes, there is. This person keeps women in rotation. That information is only important just for the knowing, but it has absolutely nothing to do with you because you're of high value. You don't compare yourself to anybody when this is, if this is what this person wants, you let them go, right? If that's what they want, but they come back to you causing conflict because they like to leave you upset. Yeah, they want to leave you upset so that you're waiting there confused, um, in your mind, drinking. You could be drinking a little bit more than what you want to. I'm going to keep it 100, 100, 1,000, 1 million. You could be drinking a little bit of wine more than what you want to, okay? Show me uh, why the Ace of Swords is in reverse because this is what Virgo came to this video to find out. What's going on? Why is the Ace of Swords in reverse? Yeah. Is this part? Yeah, this person is, okay, their wife, family, whatever. Are they still fooling with this person? Yes, they are. Yes, they're still in communication with this person. Are they sleeping with them? Absolutely. This person could be dealing with another Sagittarius, Leo, and or a uh, Aries. I'm getting heavy on the Leo energy. I just got that real clear. Leo. This person could be born in August, August 3rd, August 4th, the 10th, 12th. Spirit says a lot of Virgos are mirroring each other right now with the same exact story. So a lot of you are going to find, damn, that's my story. Oh, that's my story. Yeah. When you're with your soul tribe, you realize that you share the same spirit. So if we're all going through a spiritual awakening, then simultaneously, it would only make sense that you'd be going through the spiritual awakening just as them. You're analytical. You're trying to figure it out. But the reality is you knew this. You knew this. Yeah. Everything I'm saying, you've already, you've already seen. You could have gone to a tarot card reader. Spirit is saying no. Maybe you do tarot cards or you pull cards or yeah. So you knew this. Yeah, you could be listening to this on your way to work. This is heartbreaking for you. But Spirit says, you know, this path is not easy. That's why few, few of us are chosen to do this. This was about you understanding your value. This had nothing to do with annihilating your existence or destroying you or putting you in another heartbreak. Because I get the impression that you've been through a lot of heartbreak. You're a sweetheart. But don't let this destroy you. Spirit is saying you need to go into solitude, Virgo. You need to you need to just stay grounded. Take your eyes off of this person and keep your eyes on yourself because this person is going to come back. And when they do, you might not be the same person. <laughs> anybody else? I feel like you want to know if there's anybody else. Yes, Virgo, there's a lot of people. At least six, okay? What else does uh, Virgo ancestors want? them to know yeah this is a past life soul contract you want to know why is this happening because this is was your wish fulfillment this is what i want this is who i want this is my person this is what you're saying right now if you want to know if this what why this is happening this is a past lifetime soul contract you've gone through this time and time and time again okay this is why this person feels like they have time but we're in the age of awakening. So nobody can afford to be asleep, mentally, physically dead and spiritually just, you know, running amok. It's just not going to happen. There's no more room for it because the collective is vibrating so high, right? That this energy, again, I've said it time and time again in different videos, this energy is not, you know, making sense. It's not making spiritual sense, right? Right? Sense in the literal sense and sense as in money in the bank and spiritual bank and what it is that I'm putting into the universe that I want to get back. It's just not making sense monetarily. We work for the most high. Okay. What we receive from the most high is inexhaustible. Okay. So this is why we're receiving abundance. This is why we're receiving money. This is why, because we're being obedient so that we can go about to do the things that we need to do. Money's not everything, but it's important in this world. We need it to start our, you know, organizations, to start our businesses. I feel like you want to do taxes or you could be deciding to leave a job where, where you feel like you're being micromanaged. Spirit is saying you're being guided. Take the leap of faith. But you keep you keep going over and over and over this in your mind. But Spirit is saying be mindful of your time. You can't get your time back. Right? You can't get your time back. If not now, then when, Virgo? 
Show me more for Virgo, Holy Spirit. You, Yeah, you're definitely born in September, okay? I kept picking up on um, August, Virgo, but this is this third party. This person's in August is very much a Leo, but has Virgo highly aspected in their chart. And they don't want to let this person go. This person and this person, this is what they've done for years. They cheat on each other. She's been with people. He's been with people. Vice versa. Flip and flop the roles how, as you see fit. And yeah, they used to this. Yeah, but now they're burdened down because this person has a cup of love for you. But Spirit is saying this should not decide your path. This You're, you're following your high priestess path should not be predicated as to whether or not this person loves you. Like, you're not chop suey. You're not just some run-of-the-mill type of person. Yeah. Do not let this destroy you, Spirit is saying. Do not let this destroy you. Please do not. Show me more, Holy Spirit. What is it that Virgo wants to know? Yes, this is your person. Yes, if you want to wait, you have to take the good, the bad, the ugly, but that has nothing to do with you. Spirit is saying... Don't ask yourself any more questions about this person, why they've done what they've done. Don't do that to yourself. That's putting you in mental conflict. That's driving you to drink. Don't do that. Ask spirit about you. Look at you. Look at your relationship with your parents or the lack thereof. Very clear information. Again, these messages are not to destroy you, but they're to trigger your awakening. They're to push you along your path to make you look at yourself so much so that you just decide to stand accountable right? Spirit is guiding you away from this situation permanently or temporarily. And this is the problem. This is where you're overanalyzing gets the best of you, where you become your own worst enemy because you're like, where am I going? Spirit is like, just follow me. You're like, but is he coming? Is she coming? Look, just follow me. You're mani we're manifesting something for you. This is what we're doing. Okay. This person could be doing mind magic on you. Domination spells. You know, you know that. Don't give your power away so easily. You've worked so hard to this point to gain your um, to gain your crown. Your intuition is open. Don't ignore yourself. Pay attention to your dreams. Yeah, yeah. This is a uh, this is what it is. This person is being very sneaky and deceptive about how they feel with this Queen of Wands as well. This Queen of Wands is aware of you. You know, again, this is what happens when we put ourselves in constant third party situations. Their marriage is very open. Like I've since open marriage, like, you know, she's been with somebody. He's been with somebody, vice versa, whatever, whatever. But then you come along and this person's like, what's so special about her? What's so special about him? Because again, I'm getting masculine and feminine Virgo energy. Okay. And if this message resonates with you, please like and share the video. Um, when you like the video, I'm able to energetically pick up on your story, okay? Just so you know, I'm not here for likes. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> I, I could care less. I'm here to work for the most high. But when you energetically say this resonates with me or you comment, you're now holding yourself accountable in this court of law and you're connecting with me, the high priestess, who's here to help you along your path. This is what I do. I crown other high priestesses. I help other high priestesses. I help emperors. This is the, when, when I come into your life, this is the final call, boo. Ain't nobody else coming, but other light seeds and light beans and star seeds. And I said light seeds, <laughs> that too. We planting seeds of light. This is what we're doing. We're pouring into you light. Yes. So that you can grow because we need you. We need the collective to be a hundred percent healthy. We need the collective to be 100% strong. And if you're a part of the soul tribe, not if you are, if you came across my video, then we pour into you. So when we start to come along your path, ain't nobody else coming. Yeah, Spirit is saying, leave this situation out in the cold. This is your soulmate. You keep wanting to know that. Yes, 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 yes. This is your divine masculine. Show me more, Holy Spirit. What is it that Mayat wants uh, Virgo to know in this this case of judgment? Spirit is saying, be careful. You under judgment too with how you move and how you're obedient to spirit. You keep asking. Yeah, this is, this is the one. This is the one. This also represents Gemini and Mercury. Watch your thoughts. Watch retrograde because you could have made this mistake over and over and over. So sit back. 
go in hermit mode, turn off the phone, put the cup down, get in solitude with yourself. It's a very scary place. You're not alone. Your ancestors are there. Your spirit guides. It's you in that closet, naked and transparent, and figure out why you keep choosing this same relationship. This is this reminds you of the same relationship. Welcome to being a high priestess. Welcome to the rebirth. Welcome to the death. Welcome to the transformation. Guess what? None of us are exempt from it. <laughs> We've all had to go through it. You have to go and be strong enough, sober in mind. I keep hearing be sober and go through every single relationship, starting back with your mother and your father and every single relationship leading up to set point, this point in this moment on this day right now to determine why you keep choosing this situation. This person, again, is just representative of all of the people that you've been with. They're a representative of all the situations that you've been with, right? And this is starting to cause you mental conflict. Why? Because you're going against your higher self. Don't go against your higher self. It's okay to take down enemies, but don't be your own worst enemy in your mind. Don't block your own intuition. Don't sell yourself lies and truth combined with a whole bunch of BS because that's what you want it to be. Don't do that. Don't do that to yourself because then you'll continue to find yourself in cycle after cycle after cycle. Don't do that. The time is now because you two are under judgment. Show me what else. Yeah. Listen, your wishes are being fulfilled when you're obedient. When we are obedient, the universe pays us abundantly. Okay. The universe helps us to get what it is that we need in order for us to further our path. More than enough, our cups overflow with money, peace, prosperity. Sometimes the 10 of pentacles is just a peaceful state of mind. <laughs> you cashing in a peaceful state of mind from the bank. Can I cash in this check of peace, prosperity, abundance? Sometimes feeling abundant is just a vibration. Huh? What else do the divine ancestors want Virgo to know? Ancestors of the highest white light, please and thank you. Please and thank you. Show us for Virgo. Thank you. This landed right on top of the high priestess. This is something you want to know, Virgo. This is something you want to know. Yes. Listen. You are the way, the truth, and the light. Your purpose is right in front of you. You have to take that leap of faith. You have to make a plan and you have to stick to it and be strategic. Spirit is saying, get your vision board out or make you one so that you can constantly be reminded of the things that you need to be thinking about. Yes, Spirit says the business idea that you want, whatever it is that you're trying to do, it's going to work. Do it. This is Spirit. You and Spirit coming into an agreement. Spirit is offering you a very small cup of love, right? It's not the size of the cup. It's the love that's in the cup. All you have to do is have the faith of a mustard seed. And it can grow into something greater than what you ever imagined. It's a small offer to see if you're going to trust spirit. You understand what I'm saying? Heavy on the Sagittarius. I told you. I told you. This also represents temperance and balance and patience for yourself first. Spirit is saying, listen, this is your ancestors. They're not playing about you. They came too far, too far for you to fail now and to let go of what is divinely being orchestrated for you, divinely being manifested for you, divinely, divinely being orchestrated for you, for you to get distracted by one situation with somebody that is lying to you for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Okay, I'm just being honest. This person is comfortable in their lives. But when you remove yourself, when you go into solitude, you then get this, this level of existence because you already are the high priestess. But you don't want to be this. This is like going you know, into a room ass backwards, wondering why you tripped over a step because you weren't watching. You weren't being intuitive. You didn't let spirit guide you. And I pray that that's not the existence that you stay in. I don't want to speak those words onto you. I need you to be well. I need you to be healthy. I need you to be prosperous. I need you to come with your soul tribe. We got children to say, children, children. I keep hearing children. You could have children. 
You could have boys, two boys. Maybe there's a huge age gap between them. Yeah. Yeah, this is your good karma. Okay. Forgive yourself. Forgive your parents. Forgive whoever you need to. But you have to move on. How do I do that, you say? This is what you're saying. But how? Okay. We're going to help you. This is this is what we're here for. You think I'm the only person on the planet doing this? No. I got, I got high priestesses back in me. I got star seats back in me. I got empresses somewhere all over the planet doing the exact same thing that I'm doing. Genuinely coming to you with a cup of love because we care about you. We care about your path. We care about your mind, your body, and your soul. You might need to be celibate. Yeah. You don't want no sexual transmitted demons because of somebody that's unhealed. Okay. How do I do that? You say divine ancestors, give us Virgo's answer. Please continue to protect us. Put a shield around us, a shield around us. Show us Virgo's answer. How do they do this? Yeah. Spirit is saying move in silence. Cry it out. Cry if you have to let it out. But do it silently. Do it quietly. Do it by yourself. Strengthen yourself in private. The moon represents what's hidden. Everybody don't have to know. Your every thought. This is how you grow in the silence of yourself. It's a very scary place when we don't want to face our own inner demons. Welcome to the dark night of the soul. It's inevitable. You have to go through that level in order to get here. Mayotte is saying, listen, we need you. Your ancestors are pulling for you. They're in court. They're whooping ass. She's still spinning the block. She got sex met with her. She's not playing. Spirit is saying, get out the way. Because if 